Tomahawk TV News, Montague County's only newscast, coming at you from Nocona High School. Welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk TV News. This is Senior Morgan Dyer with your news. This week, Karen Gibbs has reviewed the movie Revenant in his movie Dumpster Review. Welcome to the Movie Dumpster, the segment in Tomahawk TV News where I, Karen Gibbs, tell you what's worth seeing and what's not. I'm afraid to die anymore. I've done it already. This past weekend, I got the opportunity to watch the survival period piece, The Revenant. The Revenant stars Leo DiCaprio as Hugh Glass, a frontiersman in the 1820s on a hunting expedition who gets mauled by a bear and left for dead by his crew which includes Tom Hardy as John Fitzgerald. The Revenant was written and directed by Alejandro González Iñárritu. The film keeps you on the edge of your seat from the opening minutes to the final credits. It is the perfect mix of stone silence to chaotic clangor, and honestly, it's one of the best performances put to screen. Not only does Leo DiCaprio bring his A game as per usual, but Tom Hardy delivers a great performance as the true villain of the film, John Fitzgerald. I recommend this film to anyone who can appreciate a good story and doesn't mind being scared a little bit. I give The Revenant five tomahawks out of five. This has been Kieran Gibbs. Thank you for watching, and I hope to God Leo finally gets the Oscar. Thank you, Kieran. Next up, Dylan Parker and Austin Waters have your gaming segment of the week. Hello, I'm Dylan and this is Austin. Welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Gaming News. This week we are going over the, one of the newest sports games to come out. We are talking about Madden 16. Madden is a game that puts you in control of the NFL. You can change teams up, make your own player, go through seasons, much more. You can take control of different players and take control of them. You can challenge other people in your house or all over the world. There are many technical aspects of the game as well. As a quarterback, you actually have to know how to throw, or your throws will go too short or too long. And on defense, the better you know how to cover, the better your defense is, and the more likely you are to force turnovers. There are many new features to the game. There is the feature Ultimate Team, where you work and gain any player and build the best team you can. There is instant replays, which now inspired by the NFL films, making them better to watch and highlights are more interesting. This game also features an updating roster, which changes after every NFL game. Now for gaming news. Batman Arkham Knight was canceled for Mac and Linux. This popular superhero game will not be making its way to these operating systems. Mirror's Edge Catalyst Closed Beta is coming to Xbox One, PS4, and PC. These consoles will be able to play the beta and try out the game before it comes out. That's it for this week's Tomahawk Gaming News. Check back next week for everything to do with gaming. Thank you guys. Zach Boyd has all of the answers to your questions in this week's edition of Just Ask Zach. Hey guys, and welcome back to another segment of Just Ask Zach. And as always, I'm your host, Zach Boyd. Now let's get to answering these questions. Our first question comes from at Desi underscore Ray 17 asked, What does it feel like to get fifth place in powerlifting? Well... <sighs> yeah, we're just going to skip that one because it hurts his feelings, and uh, we have nothing funny to say. Yeah. Our next question comes from at Morgan J. Dyer asked, what is your name, date of birth, and social security number? Zachary Daniel Boyd, December 9th, 1999, 645-68-1938. There you go. Steal all his stuff. Yeah. Our next question comes from at Tristan Cable 24 asked, If 7-Elevens are always open, why do they have locks on their doors? Tristan, are you just Googling funny jokes or answers? Because I've seen this like seven different times. It's like everywhere by now. It's so old. Come on now. Like, why do you have locks on your house if you just let anybody in? Like, people that don't know how to ask questions. Come on. Our next question comes in from at Desi underscore Ray 17 asks yet again another question saying, on a scale of one to the sun, how bright is your future? 
Um, okay, you know Morgan Dyer? Like, you know how bright her skin is? Yeah, like that transferred into my brightness of my future. Yeah. Yeah, we've been waiting on a question from uh, Desiree that doesn't hurt his feelings. Yeah. So this is pretty good. It's making progress. Our last question comes from at AW98 asked, Zach Boyd, are you from Boyd? Pfft. Awesome Waters, are you from water? Pfft. I hope you drown in water. Yeah. No, you, Zach. What? Because that was terrible. Oh, I know. All right, that's it for this week's segment of Just Ask Zach. Please send, us, please send in more questions on Twitter at hashtag Just Ask Zach. And I'll see you next week, ladies and gentlemen. If you want your questions answered, submit them to Just Ask Zach on Twitter and Instagram. Now, Kiana Hayes has the latest scoop on Mardi Gras. Hello, I'm Kiana Hayes of Tomahawk TV News. Today we'll be talking about Mardi Gras. The first American Mardi Gras took place on March 3, 1699. Nakona first started celebrating Mardi Gras in 2011. This year was Nakona's sixth annual Mardi Gras. There were bands playing and parade on Saturday and a 5K fun run. There were also bounty rides, bounce houses, and face painting. The Nakona band marched their way through the parade along with the Nakona Athletics on a float. Although we were not able to get footage or photos of the Mardi Gras parade, we were able to get photos from the previous years. All of these photos are from Mardi Gras Nakona style on Facebook. Here is a photo of our Comanche Indian riding an armadillo down the parade. Love how he fits masquerade to our own town. Here we have one of our own students, Maggie Fenelio, throwing beads, getting into the Mardi Gras spirit. This has been Kiana Hayes of Tomahawk TV News, coming at you from Nakona High. Thank you, Kiana, and thank you to all who helped make Mardi Gras great. Macy Melton is here with the weather forecast of the week. Hello, and welcome back to Tomahawk Weather. I'm Macy with your report. This week will start out sunny with some rain on Sunday. Temperatures will begin in the high 50s and then move to the low 60s and 70s. This past Tuesday, the groundhog saw its shadow, meaning an early spring this year. But that is not showing in the east where there are three chances for snow this week. The first, a low pressure system on the coastal part of the states will bring cold temperatures, then rain coming from the south, and at last another cold front from the midwest. This has been your weekly Tomahawk weather. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you, Macy. Last Saturday, January 30th, the AV classes at Nocona High School got the opportunity to spend a day with a professional stuntman and learn about the proper ways to perform stunts. Mr. John Can has been in many movies such as Miss Congeniality and other films. He also travels around teaching people the proper stunting techniques. The students learned many things such as roles, combat fighting, sword fighting, and jumps. With all the things he taught, the classes are hoping to use their skills in upcoming projects and movies. We would like to thank Mr. Can for taking time out of his day to teach the students of Nocona. Now, Jocelyn Wadlow and Connor Barrett have this week's trending videos in the weekly viral. Welcome to the Weekly Viral Review, in which we tell you it has been recently trending on the internet. I'm Connor Barrett, and that's Zach. The moment you've all been waiting for, we're mashing up the two best segments on Tomahawk TV News. The two. Not one, not three, but two. Yeah, and we should probably start doing fashion, because that other segment's not great. So, and you know, Jocelyn is in here, which is awesome as well, so kind of playing it by ear. So here's some cool videos. Yes, 
Uh, Zoolander 2, that's coming out pretty soon, I mean, right? It looks pretty terrible, but I'd it's new. Recommend don't go seeing it. Yeah, but talk about it like we do. Don't go, don't, it, no. Save yourself. Yes. He was once the world's most famous male model. Even his looks were household names. La Tigra, Magnum, and of course, Blue Steel. But that was a long, long, long time ago. Old LeMay? Oh yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up too. Hello, Will. <coughs> Did you just dab? <laughs> no. Just not even a little bit? <laughs> not even a little bit. Like, okay. So oh, Valentine's Day, yeah, I bet you're excited. You and your boyfriend gonna have a nice, quiet, romantic night together. That'll be nice. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> All right. What'd it do? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this weekly viral review. So remember to kind of high school. You're kind of a big deal. Thank you for the videos. Cole Jackson will now have your local and national sports news. Hello, Nakona High School. I'm Cole Jackson, and welcome to this week's edition of Tomahawk Sports. In local sports news this week, the Lady Indians and Indians both played Bowie here Tuesday. The Lady Indians upset the state-ranked Jackrabbits here at home, and the Indians lost a disappointing game to our district rival. They both played Henrietta there on Friday. Powerlifting season has begun, and our lifters have already started accomplishing great things. Junior Desiree Graham has broken pretty much every record in every meet she has gone to this season and all the other lifters usually come home with medals in their weight class. The Nocona meet is coming up here pretty soon too, so make sure to come out and support our powerlifters as they try to earn a spot in regionals. Now for more on our powerlifters, Jesus Gonzalez went out and talked to a few of them in this week's Sports Insight with Little Jesus. This is Jesus with Desiree. How long have you been powerlifting? I'm three years now. Well, that's easy. This is my first year. I've uh, started powerlifting. I'm doing pretty good so far. I'm kind of liking it. One this, year. This is my second year. Would you like to explain the rules of powerlifting? Um, they're pretty simple. Um, you go through a series of three different lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, and you get three attempts to get your highest max weight. Uh, I don't know very much of it. It's my first year. But I can tell you this, it's easier than what you think it is, and you can't be scared to do it. You just got to get up there and do it. Um, each set, squat, deadlift, and bench has different rules, but the main one is to keep your feet set. You can't shuffle or move it or it's a red light against you. You can't be crooked while coming up. Just basic things, kind of. Deadlift's a little more complicated, though. Yeah, you can't move the bar. Like once it's set and you come up to the bar, you have to adjust to it. You can't pull you it can't to you or you get a red lock. You can't scoop up and you can't stop and then continue to go up. It's very complicated to learn, but it's easier when you go. If Hercules was alive, would he be doing powerlifting? I bet so. <laughs> He's pretty strong. Can you can you lift more than him? Yes. Just kidding, no. <laughs> you can't, you're weak. All right. Yeah, I bet Hercules could do some power lifting, but I bet you I cannot lift him. All right, all right. I'd I could see it. So. I mean, Coach Shaw can also there's see girls it. who are only 97 pounds, and they're lifting, like, a total of 500, so that's pretty good. Pretty sure he could do it. How much will he be able to lift? Definitely more than 1,000, <laughs> yeah. Could you lift more than him? On a good day. Yeah. How was that, Phil? Rain it in, rookie. You can get away with mistakes like those in the minor decathlons, but this is the big leagues. 
At least I beat him, didn't I? What's your goals for the end of the season? Um, I want to lift, I want to squat 450, bench 200, and deadlift 375. Uh, my, my goal is to get to regionals, but m my main goal is to get to state, and that's, that's my, definitely my main goal. I want to reach a total of at least 720. I'm at 615 right now at our third meet, so I don't think it's going to be that hard. My total, or I want to have a total of 600 or over. Thank you. In national sports news, Calvin Johnson, the great wide receiver, the Detroit Lions, has decided to retire. This came as a surprise to many as the wideout had only just recently turned 30. The Golden State Warriors have claimed the best record in NBA history through 50 games and the NBA All-Star Game will be February 14th. That's it for this week in sports. Once again, I'm Cole Jackson, signing off for Tomahawk Sports. Thanks, Cole. Alex Perez is up next with a special Indian insight. Hello, Nocona High School, and welcome to Indian Insight with me, Alex Perez. This week, we start with something close to everyone's heart. Art. We start by interviewing members of the VASE competition. We will start by interviewing a former member, Alex Sampson, who is currently working on Tomahawk TV's news, Moment for Music. I wanted to see what my level would be, per se. Um, see what I was up against, see if I was good or not. And wasn't as good as I thought it was. I mean, probably not the art choice that I chose to uh, paint, but it was like, everyone else was like eight, and I was at like three. So, it was cramped. Uh, there was a lot of people. Uh, you had to wait like almost two hours before you could even freaking get your like interview in, talk about your artwork, and see if they even actually like put your artwork out there on the show for everyone to see, and then place them, which takes a, a good clean 30 minutes. Um, I would have to say um, hard work comes from practice, and practice makes perfect. Thank you, Alex. Next, we interview the leader of this competition, at least for Nocona, Miss Crabtree, the current art teacher and probably one of the best teachers there's been at Nocona. Vase is a um, visual arts scholastic event. So it's an opportunity for students that are in art in high school. They don't really even have to be in art in high school um, as long as they are, have a product that is an original product. Um, they can go through their teacher, their high school art teacher, and get um, registered to be part of VASE. And it's an art competition for high school students. Um, just really be uh, particular about making your art original. Um, it's important not to, it's okay to be inspired by things that you see online. Um, when you Google pictures, when you find pictures in magazines, um, you don't want to copy anything. You can use those things to start some of your own sketches on, but make sure that you change things up. Anytime you, you find a, a, a picture for inspiration, you have to sketch your own pictures from that. It's best to sketch from your own photographs. So take some of your own photographs, um, set up a still life. Uh, the things that you put into the vase art show have to be original and have to be yours. Um, just get involved in art in your school. Um, in the art program, we have a great one here at Nocona. Um, make sure that you sketch uh, in your free time things that you see, take photographs, uh, get ideas from everything that you see around you, and just become a part of the art program. Sadly, the vase competition is no longer open for new competitors. However, you can always try next year. This has been Alex Perez with your Indian Insight, signing off. Thanks, Alex. Now, Alex Sampson is up with your music news. In 
Houston coming in first place, 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots has been on the top of the charts for the past few weeks now with their song Stressed Out. The band has been around since 2009 and is made up of the duo Tyler Joseph and Josh Stein. While the band has been around since 2009, Stressed Out has been by far their biggest song so far. But they've also put out some good songs in the past like Holding On To You and Tearing My Heart. And I'm pretty sure we'll be hearing more from them in the future. And in other words, today is Shakira's birthday. She is turning 39, February 3rd. No fighting. Shakira, Shakira. I never really knew that she could dance like this. She make a man want to speak Spanish. Como se llama? segment of MLG, Make It Look Gucci. In our segment, we have two categories, Gucci and Gucci Guilty. For our Gucci category, first up is Chrissy Teigen from her InStyle photo shoot. Two words, hot mama, she's pregnant, but she still managed to look Gucci. She is pregnant and still skinnier than Jocelyn Wadlow. John Legend is one lucky man. Next up, we have Kendall Jenner. Being a model, of course, she makes black on black look fantastic. Her leggings are the cutest. Too bad I can't wear them to school because I'm not as important as some others. Kendall's sister, Khloe Kardashian, also made the Gucci category. Just like Kendall, Khloe rocks black on black. She could wear a trash bag and still look phenomenal. Now our Gucci guilty category. First up is Biebs. Now when Bieber and Selena Gomez were together, Selena picked out his outfits. Now that they're broken up, that explains this horrible outfit. Camo jacket, striped shirt, and pink beanie. What were you thinking, Biebs? Next up is John Mayer. John, 
If I saw you out on the streets, I would be very tempted to give you money. Agreed. Bella Hadid. Bella, you are the Hadid sister that no one knows about because of your poor taste and style. Agreed. Wrapping up our Gucci Guilty category is Gwen Stefani. Just because you're dating Blake Shelton doesn't mean you have to dress like you're a redneck. This is what divorce does to you. It makes you make really bad decisions in your outfit of choice. That's all until next week, and don't forget, dress classy, not trashy. Thank you. To close the show, here is this week's Parker Marshall Show. Miracle Whip, gonna lay it down, lay it down with the Miracle Whip, white boy from the south, color Malibu, only daddy knew, only, only daddy knew, lay it down for me, lay it down for you, give me money, everybody, everybody knew, got the money from my pa, that's all. Hey, yo, this is my studio right here, man, you know what I mean? I started from nothing, man. I got out of high school with my dad, man. He gave me a small loan of a million dollars, man. Man, what'd you start with, man? It's been tough. I had to find my producers, man. My dad, man, he sent them out one time, but that's it. You know? For, you know, a million dollars, man, you can't do much with that nowadays. You know, I've made this studio my own, you know? Got out there, I got my producer now. You know, we cooking it, we doing all right now. We getting going, man. You know, I'm spitting fat beats on the daily, but it wouldn't be possible without my man. He in the studio, you know, laying those tracks down, man. But you know, I started from nothing. I had to find all my boys out here, man. I got a crew now. It's one love. It's one team right now, you know what I mean? We get it going. We get it going and it ain't nothing about it. You know, I earned all this, man. Man, see these shoes right here? See these shoes right here? Yo, paid $2,000 for these out of my mom's trust fund, man. My mom's trust fund from that was left to her from my dad, bro. I already spent most of mine. <laughs> know what I mean? You know, it's hard out here being a player, especially when you're white, man. Trying to make it big. Trying to make it big. Let me show y'all something. Y'all want to see something cool? Get you a look at this right here. You see these chains right here, man? These fools are rare, man. I paid a thousand for that one, man. Paid fifteen hundred for that one, fool. You know what I mean? See this hat right here? This fool is custom, man. Paid like, it was like 250, 250 right here, man. 250, you know what I mean? It ain't just me out here, man. I'm just trying to play, man. Player gonna be a player. I'm just trying to get out here and getting it. You know, that's all there is to it. I got this studio, man, but that's about it I got. My album's fixing to hit the web, man. And once it does, y'all gonna hear my name. Miracle Whip, y'all gonna know. Y'all gonna know about Miracle Whip. That's for sure. Miracle Whip, Miracle Whip, that's all you gonna hear, Miracle Whip, hey. Hey y'all, uh, we're gonna go in here in the studio and check out my producer, see what's popping in there. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Hey y'all, uh, this is the studio right here. You know, this is where my man makes me sound good. What up, B? What up, what up? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna let him explain some stuff to y'all. All right, this right here, this is the volume. I, I don't really know what these do, but they're pretty cool when you turn them. I got myself a nice little piano right here. These things right here, I don't know what they do, but they're fun to press. But my dog's still the best. Hey, you already know. know. All right, you know, you know, he pulls most of his stuff off YouTube, but, yeah, but we we'll just throw in our own little little pizzazz, make it make it miracle friendly. You know what I mean? Cause like, you know, you can't even go to Subway and eat dinner without having me in your life. You know what I mean? Can't even open the refrigerator without thinking of miracle. Well, let me tell you something. Hey, you see this shirt? He bought it. I bought it. His pants, he bought it. I bought it. My tat, he bought it. I bought it. My hair, he bought it. Yeah, but you know what? Cause daddy. Daddy. <laughs> I got that trust fund Thank money, you, though. Daddy. Hey. Hey. Yo. Hey, but that's respect. Respect. You know what? I'm gonna come check on y'all later. My dad paid for this. My dad paid for that. My dad paid for everything, this and that. Don't know what to do with my life around here. Trying to make it as a rapper, that's real clear. Call me Miracle Whip. I'ma lay it down. Play it for other people, white, black, and brown. Don't care what anybody wanna know about. I'ma just do me, do no doubt. Here we go. 
Here we go, Miracle Whip, that's for show. That, 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 that's for show, Miracle. Oh, oh, yo, I'ma, 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 I'ma let it go. Yeah, that was hot. All right. My dad paid for this, my dad paid for that. My dad paid for everything, this and that. Don't know what to do with my life around here. Trying to make it as a rapper. Great job. Thanks for tuning in, Monte County. We hope to see you back next week. Tomahawk TV News. Montague County's only newscast coming at you from Nocona High School.